we started the agency in 1987, I think we had uh, five clients and seven staff members. And uh, you know, as we continued to to grow and you know become more and more uh, successful in our in our business, you know, I think at this point in time we you know, have about 3,900 patients on census and have over 800 staff members that we depend on every day, you know, to go out and do great things. Uh, you know, when you look at it, it's a, it's, it's very humbling. And that's one thing I just can't say, say too much about really is hiring the best of class staff out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that can't work for well care because they don't have the standards that exacting standards. Uh, there are a lot of people that, uh, you know, we drive crazy that work for us because they know that mediocrity is not going to be accepted. And uh, so when you, you get those people working in your organization, uh, you know, they set the tone for everybody else. We don't go out in the morning and plan to be mediocre. We go out in the morning and plan to be in the top 20 percent of everything that happens in the nation. We've done a lot of first in this organization and you know, and all of them have been for the betterment and uh, actualization of, of the patient. So you know, that's important to us. And then you've got, you know, there's just a couple dozen people that have been here, you know, almost as long or longer than I have. And uh, you know, the Rima James of the world, Patrice, Cassandra Taylor, Janice Williams, Barbara Richardson, Sue McConnell, Julie Torre, you know, the Wanda Coley's that grew up in this organization, the uh, Terry Connors, the backbone of a lot of the stuff that we do, the Jaylene Granzel, she and I used to schedule weekend visits when we were the, probably the only people in southeastern North Carolina that were admitting physical therapy patients on the weekend. Also, Tracy Roberts in that group, Ted Horton's in that group, Leslie, Jamie, Daniel Thompson, Mary Alice, Chrissy, Kristen Melvin in Raleigh's doing a great job. It's just, it's hiring great people. Yeah, it really is. I mean, you, you hire people that are better than you all the time and hope they don't make you look bad. <laughs> You should be here. Or a lot of my memories have to do with, you know, patient testimonials, being involved with patients, you know, the phone call you get, the email you get, the card that you get that says, hey, you saved my mother's life. My dad can walk again. And I remember one specifically from a lady in Columbus County that her husband had had a stroke one or two years before that. I mean, he couldn't eat solid food, he couldn't swallow, and things like that. And she was just uh, one hell of an advocate for him. So she was, as most people know, when you've had a stroke that long ago, that the chances of that capacity returning is minimal. But, you know, it really affected their their lives, so, you know, she just basically fought and fought till somebody was able to write her an order for us to do home help. And uh, amazingly, she was successful. Her husband was able to swallow and able to eat real food again. And it was just because of her and uh, what our speech therapist could do. I mean, people ask you, well, what makes your organization better than other organizations? It's, it's really simple stuff. You do it right all the time. You work harder than everybody else works. You have more passion than everybody else has. We're not one of those agencies that say, oh no, we don't take patients on that side of the tracks. A lot of agencies do. You know, they want to cherry pick the market, but we look at it a little differently. We look at it as a responsibility to serve all the patients that live in that uh, MSA. You know, there's, there's no rights in healthcare. You know, you don't have a right to do anything. A lot of times people look at a certificate of need, they say, well, this is a right. No, 
it's a responsibility to take care of those patients in that market. I'm most proud of what we've become. You know, we're uh, a very good home health agency. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that most people look up to us as a beacon of how it's supposed to be done. We're pretty excited about the future. And the future is, is not going to be for the faint of heart, let's say it that way. If you wake up in the morning, you buckle in, uh, you can do a lot in the future. You know, every day for the next 15 to 18 years, 10,000 people will turn 65. So there's not going to be a shortage of patients. There's going to be a transformation in how patient care is delivered. We plan to be around for that. You know, we're creating an agency that we think will be a legacy, long-standing agency. I think the, the Long family will never lose its roots. We'll always be true to who we are and what we are. You know, we'll always be, uh, I think, leaders in the business market that we're in. You know, we always want to set the bar very high for our organization and then we hope other organizations will come to that bar. I think we've got a tremendous future in front of us.